All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. No. I haven't done anything further yet. I just grabbed a pair of scissors. Help me in a few minutes here. So, still got a little bit sticking on that one side. Definitely making some headway here, though. I found it was a lot easier to just try not to bend the chip because, uh, or the contacts, I should say. Makes it a lot easier when you go to insert it later. And I'm not sure what the science is behind this. I'm trying not to melt anything other than the plastic, but the first time I got pretty lucky, so I can only assume it'd be pretty, hopefully pretty hard to mess it up. I'll find out when I go to put it back in. And that contacts are definitely hot right now. I'm going to try getting the blade up in there. The important part with the blade is to make sure that you stay away from the metal. Work your way towards the plastic and, of course, cutting towards your fingers is always a great idea. You can see I'm really getting there now. Hopefully, nice and clean. The last little bit. I wonder if now isn't a good time to put some heat on it. Hope for the best. Yeah, that definitely made a difference. Got it. And voila, plastic's removed. I've set the focus manually, so I guess I should work with that. So using my old one as a reference, you can see the layout there. This squiggly contact, the center with the bottom left on that. This would be the center with the bottom left over here. And I've actually trimmed off a very slight margin on the right. You can see here. Now, the important thing is, especially if you've inserted and removed this from the ZTE, you can actually see where there's traces worn in from the phone. And that'll actually show you where you don't want to cut past. You can make it out better on that one, I think. I'm going to do the same thing here with the scissors. Again, you want to make sure your orientation is correct because you don't get two, two cracks at this. All the SIM cards are relatively cheap. I really don't think I can make a trip down to the store after midnight. So I'm going to go with, uh, say, right about here. Double check it. And I'll show you how you can check for fitting as well on the SIM tray. It's probably going to be just a touch too big. My hot glue's getting nice and warm. Get this knife out of the way. And, of course, get them mixed up. Yep. So, next thing I'm going to do grab a, my SD card. Like I say, I've only got a 16 here right now. But since this works, I'm going to be ordering up something decent. And the trick I found for myself when I was putting the card in, check it for fit on a regular card that still works. You can see here, roughly, there. Uh, again, I apologize, I'm not really good with this camera stuff. You can see the plastic outline on the bottom there. The top contacts actually kind of go past that. So when you put your SD card in, like so. And what I did to make this somewhat temporary 
I'm going to put the carrot in. And I found the fit. As I put the hot glue behind it, I'll show you how that goes into the phone after. There's a buffer zone. It's almost equal on both sides of the SD pins. So, holding it there. And I mean, this is the nice thing about this and not using crazy glue is you can try it again. The only crappy part might be it come loose at some point. And just put enough hot glue to keep it from sliding. Of course, I need another stick. Go figure. So I'm going to keep that there for a sec. Hopefully, that's useful. All the sticks are here. It's right place. Actually, I'm gonna try doing this right on the table here. Nope. Definitely helps to have pressure from the back. As I did the first time. Get this camera a little more in line here. So roughly, approximately, right here. I'm gonna go with that. Get hot glue. Try not to burn yourself too bad. And go ahead and push it in there. Let it cool down. Say so if you don't get it the first try, the nice thing here is you get to do it again. Alright. I'm going to give this a go right now. Got my phone. I really like the location of that fingerprint unlock. It's excellent. And line it up. And you can see it's just a buffer of white glue right there. And we'll see if I got it right the first time. I guess I should have cleaned that up a bit. Your warranty is now void. Just a little bit too much there. It goes without saying that you're taking your chances here, but you don't want any excess glue in there. But how can you beat the price of this phone? Still no dice. Third time's a charm. I'm gonna just pull it out a little further and see if I can't clean it up better. Obviously don't recommend taking a knife to a brand new phone, but... Maybe we'll get an unlocked bootloader. You never know. So close.
I just noticed the time bomb I had there with the uh, hot glue gun right next to my lighter. That wouldn't have been pretty. And it looks like I got it in. Did I get it right? I'm showing two sims and guess what? An SD card. So there's the SD card notification. Again, I apologize, this camera is junk. I'm going to try... Wow. That's not good. Um, dual sims. Sim 1, Sim 2. Ah, uh, yeah, the focus, that's right. And... A memory card has been inserted. Right, whoop. Back. I still gotta get used to some of this. Storage. Alright guys, that's it. Hope it was helpful.